Hello students. Welcome to lesson 10. Front fricative consonants, unvoiced th and voiced th. In today's reading lesson, we will continue looking at consonants. Let's start with today's contents. 1. Consonants overview. We will review our definition of consonants and we will list out the different kinds of consonants. 2. Nonsense syllables. We will practice syllables using one of the groups of consonants, fricative consonants. Think of this exercise as a warm up or a drill. 3. TH and TH word comparison. We will look at words beginning with the unvoiced TH and the voiced TH sounds. 4. TH and TH phrases. We will practice reading phrases that include the unvoiced TH and voiced TH words from today's lesson. First, let's review the two kinds of letters and sounds, vowels and consonants. Here we can see the alphabet. We covered the alphabet in lesson one. On the left, we can see the vowel letters, A, E, I, O, and U. We covered vowels in lesson two. And on the right, we can see the 21 consonant letters. Right now, they are in alphabetical order. Consonant letters represent consonant sounds, and the consonant sounds can be separated into four main categories. Here is the list. Stop consonants, fricative consonants, nasal consonants, and gliding consonants. In lessons three, four, five, and six, we practiced the stop consonants. Stop consonants are consonant sounds that stop after a single puff of air. We also learned that stop consonants have unvoiced and voiced pairs. T and D are a pair. P and B are a pair. K and G are a pair, and CH and J are a pair. We are now working on the next five lessons, fricative consonants. Fricative consonant sounds are produced with a stream of air passing through the mouth. This is the key difference between fricative consonants and stop consonants. Stop consonants are produced with a single puff of air, while fricative consonants are produced with a stream of air. One similarity is that fricative consonants also have unvoiced and voiced pairs. In English, the H sound does not have a voiced counterpart. Some other languages do have this, but English does not. In lesson seven, we practiced with our first pair of fricative consonants, S and Z. In lesson eight, we moved on to our second pair of fricative consonants, F and V. In lesson nine, we moved on to our third pair of fricative consonants, SH and ZH. Today, we will practice with our fourth pair of fricative consonants, TH and TH, the unvoiced and voiced versions of the same digraph. First, let me list the unvoiced fricative consonants, S, F, SH, TH. The last two on the list, SH and TH are special. They are not letters, they are digraphs. SH has two letters, but only one sound. 
unvoiced TH has two letters, but only one sound. Of course, today we are talking about the voice version too. As for the others, the last sound in the letter's names is the sound that the letter represents. The S makes the S sound. The F makes the F sound. Anyway, these are the unvoiced fricative consonants. They represent the sounds S, F, SH, and F. Do you know their voice counterparts? Let's take a look. The voice counterparts are Z, V, ZH, and TH. S and Z are a pair. F and V are a pair. SH and ZH are a pair. And TH and TH are a pair. You might notice three strange things here. First is the ZH. The ZH sound exists in English, but it is never written with the letters ZH. We covered that in our last lesson. Second, the digraph TH is used for both the unvoiced version and the voiced version. And third, the letter H is not on this list. Now let's do some practice drills. Our first drill is to turn these fricative consonants into syllables. That means that we need vowels. We are going to start off with fricative consonants with the long vowel sounds. Try to say these syllables out loud. You can pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. Repeat after me. One, say, see, sigh, so, sue. Two, zay, z. Zai, zo, zu, three, fei, fi, fi, fo, fu, few, four, ve, vi, vi, vo, vu. View five she she shy show shoe six j j jai jo ju seven fe fi Thai, Tho, Thu, Eight, They, Thee, Thy, Tho, Thu, Nine, Hey, He, Hi, Ho, Who, you. Next, we are going to practice the fricative consonants with the short vowel sounds. Try to say these syllables out loud. You can pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. Repeat after me. One, sa, se, se, sa. Sa. Two. Za. Ze. Ze. Za. Za. Three. Fa. 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 Four. Va. Ve, ve, va, va, 
five. Sha. Sha. She. Sha. Sha. Eight. Ja. Ja. Je. Ja. Ja. Seven. Fa. 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 Tha. Tha. Number eight. The. 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 Tha. The. Nine. Ha. Ha. He. Ha. Ha. Now the syllables are arranged a little differently. Try to say them out loud. You can pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay? Repeat after me. One. Say. Zay. Fay. Vay. Shay. Jay. Fay. They. Hey. Two. C. Z. V. V. She. G. C. V. He. Three. Sigh. Zai. Phi. Vi. Shy. Jai. Thai. Thy. Hi. Four. So. Zo. Fo. Vo. Show. Jo. So. Though. Ho. Five. Su. Zu. Fu. Vu. Shu. Zhu. Thu. Thu. Who. Six. Few. View. Hue. Okay, let's go. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. One. Sa. Za. Fa. Va. Sha. Ja. Tha. Tha. Ha. Two. Sa. Za. Fa. Va. Sha. Ja. Tha. Tha. Ha. Three. Sa. Z. F. V. Sh. J. F. V. H. Four. Sa. Za. Fa. Va. Sha. Ja. Tha, the, ha, five, sa, za, fa, va, sha, ja, tha, the, ha.
Now let's jump into our fourth pair, unvoiced th and voiced th, or the th and th sounds. This is the focus of today's lesson. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, repeat after me. One, fe, fa, they, the, two, the, 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 three, thy, the, thy, the, four, tho, tha, tho, the, Five. Thu. Tha. Thu. The. Maybe you are wondering about the notation I am using for the voiced th. It is not standard, so I might need to explain. First, let's take a look at some Japanese characters. On the left are the unvoiced counterparts, and on the right are their voiced counterparts. Sa, za, ka, ga, ta, da. The characters on the left look nearly identical to their counterparts on the right, except those two little lines in the top right. Those little lines are called dakuten. Okay. That is all I have to say about Japanese. Now, most teachers try to indicate if the TH sound is unvoiced or voiced. The TH in moth is unvoiced. The TH in mother is voiced. Some teachers will write the voiced TH in italics. Notice how the TH here in mother is slanting to the right. I considered this for the videos, but finally I settled on the Japanese Dakuten. The reason is that if you are in class with a pen and a reading passage, it is easier for you to mark your vowels, and in this case, the TH. Sure, Dakuten is not an easy word to remember, but it is an easy way to mark your paper moth, mother. And not only the th. Think of every time an unvoiced consonant gets voiced. How are you going to mark your paper? Is it not easy to just add a dakuten to your paper? It is not a standard mark, but it does work for you. Moth, mother, has, of, water. A lot of people voice the T in water, which makes it sound like a D. Okay, let's get back to work. Now it is time to step it up and practice with words. Feel free to pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, we are going to go from the top down in pairs. Repeat after me. One, tha, thatch, tha, that, two, they, thane, they, they, three, the, theft, the, them, four, the, Theory, the, these, five, the, thin, the, this, six, thigh, thigh, thy, thine, seven, thaw, Thong, 
the. Eight, though, though, those. Nine, the, thumb, the, thus. Ten, thu, enthusiasm, thu. You might have noticed a few things. First, look at line three. They is spelled with EY instead of the vowel A. We are going to cover this in more detail later. But for now, think of the EY sound as a short E and a short I merged together. E, I, E, 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 E. Normally, I wouldn't introduce something too soon, but I'm sure you already know the word they. The second thing that you might have noticed is in line 10, enthusiasm doesn't begin with a th. I couldn't find any words that begin with thu, so my example has the thu in the middle of the word. Now let's look at the words we have practiced in short phrases. We do this to add a little more meaning. These are my examples, but if you want to go back to the original list of words and try making your own phrases, that is a very good exercise. Just think of something beyond the letters and sounds, something meaningful. For example, if you see T-H-I-N, you say thin. Then think to yourself, fat or thin. See, you are not just getting the sound thin, you are expressing the meaning of a body shape. Okay, I am going to read these phrases. If you want to pause the video and try reading on your own first, now is the time. Here I go. One, fa, thatch roofing material. Two, fe, thane is a boy's name. Three, fe, fraud and identity theft. Four, the, theory of evolution. Five, the, thin legs. Six, thigh. Speed skaters have thick thighs. Seven, thaw. A woman wearing a thong bikini. Eight, th. One thumb on each hand. Nine, thu, excessive enthusiasm for sports. Let's continue. One, the, this, that, and the other thing. Two, they, he and she went, they went. Three, the, I saw him, and her, I saw them. Four, the, this and this are mine, these are mine. Five, the, this, that, and the other thing. Six, thy, love the Lord, with all thine heart. Seven, though, that and that are mine, those are mine. Eight, the, it is late, thus we must go. 
Try reading the following words. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, before we get started, yes, I know there are not very many examples here. Not just here, there are not many words that begin with TH in the English language. Let's go repeat after me. One, fa, thank, two, fe, three, fe, four, fi, theme, thesis, five, fe, thick, think, thing, thimble, six, thigh, seven, thaw, eight, tho, nine, th, thug, thump, thud, thunder, ten, thu. Let's continue with words beginning with the voice th. One, the, than, Two, they. Three, the. Then. Four, the. Five, the. Six, thy. Seven, the. Eight, though. Nine, the. Ten, the. I know, just two words on the screen. It is almost a repeat of the nonsense syllables. I know. Okay, we are going to practice with phrases again. Feel free to pause the video and try reading them on your own first. Here I go. One, fa, thank God it's Friday. Two, the. Theme song. Three, the. Write a graduation thesis. Four, the. Thick milkshake. Five, the. Think before you act. Six, the. New thing, old thing. Seven, the, a thimble on her finger. Eight, the, an ignorant thug and a bully. Nine, the, my heart beats thump, thump, thump. Ten, the, fall with a Thud. Eleven. Th. Thunder and lightning. We have reached the end of the lesson. Let's sum up what we have covered today. One. Fricative consonants. Fourth lesson. We covered fricative consonants again. This is the fourth pair and the fourth lesson focusing on fricative consonants. Two, unvoiced fricative consonants. S, F, SH, TH, H. The unvoiced fricative consonants are S, F, SH, unvoiced TH and H, which produce the sounds S, F, SH, TH, and Three, voiced fricative consonants, Z, V, ZH, TH. The voiced fricative consonants are Z, V, ZH, and voiced TH, which produce the sounds Z, V, Z, and Z. There is no voiced version of the H sound in English, although some other languages might have one. Four, 
nonsense syllables, long and short vowels. We have four pairs of fricative consonants plus the letter H, so we have been practicing these nonsense syllables for a few lessons, just like we did with the stop consonants. By now, you probably see this exercise as an important drill. Five words, TH and TH. We then increased the difficulty and started practicing words beginning with the unvoiced TH and the voiced TH. Six phrases, TH and TH. We practice phrases using the unvoiced TH and the voiced TH words from today's lesson. If you are trying to learn vocabulary or pronunciation without applying some meaning to the words, you are going to have a terrible experience. I call it the study forget, study forget cycle. Seven, tell friends about quick hatch learning. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring a bell, write a comment, you know, do the things every YouTuber asks. And of course, tell your friends. Our relationship is not just teacher student. I want to help people and you want to help people too. So telling your friends will help me help people. Anyway, thanks for coming. Be good, be safe, and I will see you next time. Bye.